Oh. You gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me, guys. Please. Oh, a two. Can you believe that? What? God, I'm done. I'm done. Bye, guys. How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to another Let's Play Adventure Quest episode. So as you guys can see, I made plenty of progress on my level, level 127. Now we are almost all the way at the top level for adventures, which is level 135. So for today's video, we will first be working on the Frost Gale set. Uh, mainly, I just want to get the spell to uh, for the gas. So you'll get this uh, gas here. And this gas actually compresses both wind and ice, which is really nice since I don't have a wind or ice gas yet. Now, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on uh, my level and whatnot currently. So now I'm level 127 and I can level up a maximum of two times a day. I'm trying to overcap as much as I can. Uh, you can see I'm almost at the next level. I have not done my grinding yet today. So after today, it will be level 129. So... For this video, uh, we will first try to get this spell and then finish up on the last video what we did which is the ninja quest and probably move on to scholar. Right, so let's see, where's my... Where's my ice shield? Do I have an ice shield? Uh, see, this is the problem, I always... Oh, Pice is an ice shield. What? Okay, can... Uh... And now we are attack with fire. <clears throat> okay, I also cleaned up my inventory a bit and you can see that I am not really making any big purchases. Saved up quite a lot of gold, 65 million gold now. And I can farm like I believe it's Four to five million go a day. I'm not. I'm not really keeping track, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I'm also uh training my stats as I level up. You can see here, uh, we have dexterity 250, charisma 250. Both are maxed. I still have a bit of points in endurance, which I will untrain soon, and then I will dump everything else into luck. And my luck currently is 105, which I would say is pretty decent. And all the remaining points when I hit level 130, uh, level 135, sorry, uh, will all go inside luck. So right now I have 8 times 5, that's 40, I have 40 plus the 30 from endurance, I have 70 more points which will go into luck. So luck will be 175 once we are level 135. So that will be the end game build, uh, dexterity 250, charisma 250, luck 175. So that will be the defensive, uh, Ranger Beastmaster build which I'm hoping to get but of course once we reach max level that is just the tip of the iceberg we have only just started uh, there are a few other things that I want to get done on this account after we reach max level first of all is obviously start to grind for the end game gear and end game gear uh, being all the mastercraft items and whatnot which is why I'm saving up my goal now 65 million goal at end game it's really really very little you uh, that won't get you far you buy a few equipment and then uh, you'll be done oh man I really hate this monster <sighs> I hate this monster so much man I really do whatever uh, even on my main account I hate having to deal with this monster man He's just so annoying with his super low resist and all that stuff, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, we will work on finishing all the class quests, uh, getting them up to rank 10, and then afterwards, uh, after the equipment and all the class quests, uh, what else should we do? I was thinking maybe we do like a sort of a story playthrough, like maybe I will read through the story and play through the quest. That is also one of the main goals of this account from the very start which is to get to know the story of AQ better because I actually have not uh, read any of AQ's stories. 
you guys know AE games, uh, the uh, more popular story game is obviously Dragon Favor, and I really enjoy the story on that one. As for AQ's main storyline, uh, I have not really been paying much attention to it. So, I will probably start on the Devourer Saga first, that is one of their main storylines, so there is that. And we are not doing too well for this fight, maybe I'll use an ally assist here. Should I use? Everything is so bad. Uh, actually, we can do fire breath, but it's a waste of SP. Let's do Galanoff. Nice set. That's some neat damage right there. So I won't uh, skip through this like I did with my mini character. Like I did with my main character, sorry. I'll just uh, play through everything, see how long it takes for us to get 8 of those. Shouldn't take very long unless we keep encountering this guy, which is annoying. So you can see on uh, my first battle, uh, got unlucky that I didn't manage to get uh, the. Uh, item so hopefully we'll get an item for this battle there are times like I said uh, whereby you get no items at all there are times whereby you get two items but most of the time you get one item so it looks like I didn't get one for the very first fight hope I can get one here okay I actually went on to read about the stats when stat training I realized that Charisma actually doesn't boost your gas damage. I've always thought it boosted both gas and pet damage, but I guess that's just Dragon Fable. So for Adventure Quest, it only boosts your pet damage, which is quite a bummer. I do hope that they will actually buff it soon. I mean, gas in this game, they are actually pretty strong because they have their own upkeep and all that. It's not totally free for you to maintain them. So I maybe that's why the staff didn't want to make gas overpowered by making Charisma boost their damage as well, but you still can see here um, this build that I'm running is not very prevalent not very meta which means uh, it may not be as good as a stun nuking build so maybe they could give it a small buff uh, in the right direction pets are almost always used in conjunction and guess so if you are relying on your pets to deal most of the damage like for this build then most likely uh, you are using a guess or some sort of guess as well so I hope that they can uh, actually add a small buff to Charisma by letting it boost uh, gas damage as well. Maybe it already does that, I don't know. But uh, based off what I read from the stat trainers, uh, training screen alone, it does not buff gas damage. So, yeah, there is that. And yeah, this build is coming along nicely. So, if you guys remember what I said all the way at the very beginning of episode 1, my ultimate goal for this account is to actually give it away once I'm satisfied with everything that I've done uh, for it. So yeah, I'm still going to hold my promise to that and I am going to give the account away once I uh, maxed out everything. So here we are facing a wind dragon. Oh, this is annoying. Sometimes you face wind monsters. So you have to change uh, your armors, right? So Zephyr shield here, let's start. Right, Earth. Echoes bow. Finally, I love using this weapon. This is a very strong weapon. Oh look at the gas damage man. Oops, forgot to switch pets. Okay, pets. Ah finally we can use the shiny wolves up. Right, let's do Zadimax. 109 SP per turn. Nice. Wait, what? Let's use cotton breath, right? Put your foe to sleep. Now, from what I read on the forums, the chance to put them asleep is actually hundred percent. But yeah, they can, uh, they can resist it very easily, like that, like you just saw. So, hmm, there's that. So we'll use cotton breath again. Ooh, okay. So the chance for them to succeed on the safe is actually pretty high, so that's why people don't really like it. But in my opinion, it's still pretty strong here. Yep, managed to get one ton of stun or uh, level 120 more stun, level 127. The pet, I can't remember what level it is, but yeah. First sleep again, nice. So you can see uh, the effect is 100%. Ooh, I am going to run out of SP soon. Okay, let's not Zadimax you anymore. 
and unfortunately the bow special never went off but even without the special you can see I'm doing a lot of damage Dragon, he resisted ah oh nice here comes the special wow Nice, okay, another special. Woo. And nice, Wind Dragon down. Right, finally, one. Oh, this monster again. Ah. Man, I swear, sometimes this game really hates me. Why do I keep encountering this monster? Oh my gosh. Let's go, let's go. Weapons, uh, items, bow, master, emblem, attack. Man, this will take a while. You know, on my main character, I don't, I didn't even encounter this monster that often. Like out of all the quests, uh, you know, I got almost every single. I went to do almost every single one for the items, though I didn't buy all of the items and. I encountered this monster like what a grand total of 3 times I already encountered him 2 times and this is on the very first item and I've only gotten 1 drop so far so I am not really happy with this run so yeah this will take a lot longer than I expected come on I just want the spell man don't do this to me I might actually die here unless I use Galanoff or something Yeah, it looks like there's a good chance of me dying here. Come on, please. More damage, please. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use a health potion soon, but I don't think it will help much. This is as low as my ice resistance will go. 30, 61%. Wait, what? Oh, I still have... Guys, I am stupid. Guys, I am so stupid. Oh god. I didn't change the shield. Right. Let's drink a health potion so we don't die here. <clears throat> okay, right. Now we should be able to do this fight easily. Okay. Shouldn't be killing us. So I was wondering why he was still doing so much damage despite being 37%. 63 HP healing. That's not great. <coughs> yes, our HP is catching up to his soon. Okay, nice, I love the lucky strikes. We will only get more lucky strikes with this character because it will have higher luck than our main character, which is nice. Okay, so stat training to 175, I don't think it will take that much gold. What really takes up a lot of gold is the stat training all the way up to 250. That really really eats your goal man like one training is like easily i believe like five to ten million go i can't remember already but yeah, the training cost is insane especially if you're not maxed and have like a billion go like my main character yes nice we are doing it stop healing please again man I'm so annoyed oops apologize for that that was my phone alarm oopsies that means it's time for ruins in rise of kingdoms I already sent my marchers there so yeah I just like to set the alarm to remind myself and oh no we are running out of SP uh, let's turn off that charisma boost on our shield I also realized one thing, uh, the game gives you a free health potion every day if you have zero health potions. I assume it's the same for mana potions, so if you have completely zero, uh, you log in the next day, they'll fill it up for you. I can't remember if it's you log in the next day or you just need to re 
lot I never really keep track but yeah and once again we only have a grand total of one what in the world and here we have ice dragon okay let's go Ooh, that was hard hitting okay bow master emblem let's go come on also there is nothing that can beat the uh, nerf kitten farming spot as of now uh, there is one monster that can beat it, uh, which is another in the form of another house guard. That is the mighty shadow god, uh, house guard monster, and another house ID has it as the first monster. That one gives you like two million XP and one million gold per kill, so that really boosts your farming rate drastically. But uh, I have not tried it yet. I don't know if I am actually strong enough to take it on. Uh, the gods they don't have they have very low health and they are weak to win. So if I can nuke it down and win before it kills me, I probably have like one or two turns before he kills me. If he kills me on the first turn, then there's no chance of me winning it. But uh, Gogs do a lot of damage, but don't have a lot of health. And you know, this sort of build is not meant for nuking. It's uh, more for sustained damage over time. So uh, if I can survive the Gogs first and second hit, I will probably be fine and to farm that monster so i will probably try it out maybe in the next video to see if i can actually farm the mighty shadow god because that one two million gold two <laughs> two million xp per kill and one million gold that just boosts your farming rate significantly so yeah as opposed to nerf kittens uh 700 000, uh oh god this monster again why my heart hurts so bad every time I see this monster you gotta be kidding me how many of these are we facing jeez man so anyways as I was saying uh, Nerf Kitten gives 700,000 XP and 30,000 gold per kill the gold isn't a lot if you want to farm gold at end game I would suggest probably going, going to Queen High B I think that gives more gold once you are max level but uh, before that I think the faster way would be to just uh, do the mighty shadow god if you can actually uh, kill it right so I am back now uh, I just went to eat dinner first and turn on the air conditioner because it is freaking hot in this Singapore weather and I am absolutely sweating buckets so yeah insane weather we have here so which part of the world are you guys actually living in uh, is it as hot as Singapore because I don't know about you guys but geez it is a hot day today and funny thing was it actually just rained uh, before I started recording and the rain just stopped but holy crap it's so hot right now and <clears throat> Singapore also has extremely humid weather so it's not just the feeling of uh, the heat but you also get extremely sticky because of the humidity and it's just absolutely disgusting I'm going to take a shower after this boy uh. so anyways now we will finish up on the monster here uh, not doing very well now might have to use another ally assist <clears throat> Either that or we can switch to a more defensive oriented one like get some healing in and you know a teacup of life and of course you have the retro 20 pet. I'm not sure if we can out heal him but you can definitely minimize the damage uh, his overall damage by like 90% or something like that. If you want survivability that being said uh, it will greatly slow down our progress of killing him so he's healing 87 HP that's not good. Uh, you know what, let's just heal up your retro 20 as yes, we do. <clears throat> let's use the cup of life. How much are we healing me? 48, that's pretty good. Plus 10, that's 58. Okay, we are healing up, that's really good. <clears throat> I 
I almost forgot that we actually have the option to play defensively so that's really nice I mean this was a defensive build to begin with but uh, I guess we sort of went over to the more offensive style uh, to speed things up for farming and all that kind of grindy stuff uh, for farming and grinding of course nothing beats the offensive and stun nuke meta because of how fast you're just able to take out monsters but then for against bosses I'm inclined to believe that defensive builds actually work better in the long run or in general so yeah Really strong healing spell, 56, okay, nice. We are definitely out damaging him thanks to the gas, but it's at a painfully slow pace, but I want to play a bit safer and heal up a bit before we switch over to a fully offensive build once again. Let's go. Oh man, that hit hard. Boy, I really hate Gologal while healing again. Man oh man, it's like we're dealing a ridiculously small amount of damage on him e uh, each turn. One one four two. Okay. Whew. Come on, let's get him below one k HP. Still nope. <coughs> okay, so if one attack misses. He doesn't drain as. He doesn't heal up as much. That's great. No, what, let's go full offense. I can't take this anymore. This is taking way too long. Uh, and now that our HP is more or less equal, I'm confident we can out damage him. Let's go, Pies. More charisma. No, to be honest, the extra 40 charisma, I can't see much difference in my pet damage. So I'm not sure if it's worth the SP cost. <sighs> Come on, stop healing. Ugh. 79 heal, that is disgusting. Pet's not dealing a great deal of damage, unfortunately. Yeah, the two hit from the pet is way weaker than the one hit for some weird reason. Oh man, stop doing the two hit weak attack. Give me a stronger attack. Okay, let's kill him now. Nice. Alright. Two down, six more to go. Not getting really lucky on this account for some reason. It's taking me quite a lot of tries just to get it. Ooh, this guy hits hard. But we always get double turns on this ice snail monster, so that's nice to see. Please, no more Golo Gals. I hate that. And wow, his dodge have blocked though. 66 and 61. Okay, fair enough. Thought we could have killed that. Our second attack didn't miss. We could have killed him. Oh, come on. Yes, come on, please. Give me an item. No. 
Okay, Frost Giant. Pretty sure this gives me an item. Oh, somebody actually mentioned in the comment section of my previous video that you get an item if you fight a Frost Giant and uh, what do you call that? Is it a dragon or something? I can't remember. But yeah, you only get item if you uh, fight the Frost Giant and one other monster. I forgot what's the other monster. But is this the first time we're encountering the Frost Giant? Man, I can't remember. My memory is so bad. But you don't seem to be encountering the Frost Giant very frequently on this character. So I'm not sure what is the meaning of all these horrible roles. I may actually just do this quest for this episode, depending on how long it is. Uh, but, you know, I think I'll finish up ninja class at least, because last three levels of ninja probably wouldn't take that long. Or last two. I can't remember if he stopped at rank 7 or rank 8 for the previous video, so yeah. And we will continue with, uh, with the scholar class on the next episode. Alright, come on, come on. Ooh, I see eruption. Yup. Okay, okay. Even though he has a lot of HP, uh, we are dealing a lot of damage to him also, so I'm not too annoyed by that. Nice. Wait, what? I'm dazed. Oh, that's why. Please, can we kill him? No, I don't think we can. Alright. Yes, give me my item. Come on. Nice. Great Worm's Claw. Okay, five more. No, no, no. Must click on the wrong one. <sighs> Why? Man, this is such a horrible run. Why do we keep running into this monster? Oh god, I really hate this monster. Why do we keep running into him? Jeez, dude. This is like... 4th or 5th time. I didn't even run into this monster that many times on my main character. And this... I am just farming for one of the 4 items. What the heck? Man, either they significantly nerf the drop rate of the item or I'm just super unlucky today. What the heck? I'm get For my main character, I get an item like more than 50% of the battles. But for this character, I don't know what's going on. I keep running into this guy. Oh my gosh. Really? Really, really? Come on. Dude, don't check out my video. I swear, sometimes the staff know when <laughs> the staff knows when I'm recording and they're just doing this to screw me. Like that time when I did it on my main character, I didn't record down the process. Yeah, it was pretty speedy. But now that I'm recording recording it down, holy crap! They are just screwing with me. <laughs> I said to God. You know what, this video is going to take too long. I'm going to pause the video right here and I'm going to cut straight to the part where I finish it and I'll let you guys know how long I took. Okay guys, now we are back and I actually relocked to check the health potion thingy and it looks like you get a free health potion and a mana potion if you start from zero, uh, if you have zero to begin with. So every time you relock, you get a free one. Right, so finally managed to get the spell and the yeah, just the spell basically, and boy, that took a while. That took like another 40 minutes. Holy crap, I was so unlucky, I ran into two more Gologals. Yeah, I know, right? This this run is cursed, I swear. <laughs> this run is cursed. But anyways, uh, let us head over to Ninja and finish up the last part of the quest. Um, let's see here. Uh, where's the Ninja one? Oh man, yeah, once again, I do not know where is what. Holy mo- yeah, Ninjitsu Temple, there we have it. Yes, yes, 
in the far east blah 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 okay rank 8 so train now you're rank up to rank 9 and then up towards rank 10 maybe there's a special quest ooh a god okay uh I don't know what armor to equip. You attack with all elements anyway, so whatever. Rain Dragon Rider. Maybe put a tectonic tower shield on. Pets we want to use fire, wind, light, or dark. Hmm. Let's do fire then. Okay, earth. Mostly earth. And, oh, it's only level 67. No wonder it's missing me so much. Let's see. Call Kataba. Right. Ooh, that is a strong guess. That is a really strong guess. So this is the level 120 version of the guess for those of you guys who do not know. And I'm not sure how much SP he took, but man, he took quite a lot of SP. We should kill him. Over 200 damage, guys. Holy moly. Wow. Loving that new guess. Karatika. Okay, let's go. Earth. Okay, armor. Uh, Earth armor. I guess it doesn't matter. Since, uh... We will just uh, since the monsters are also low level, it doesn't matter, I guess. Okay. Okay. Now he's hitting with ice. Okay, that should be the end of you. Come on. Okay, next, let's continue. Cyclops. Ah, oh, light one. Uh, let's hit darkness. Alchemist's darkness. Let's call Luna Kashiro. Pets. Darkness. What's my darkness pet? Great, I don't have a darkness pet. Let's, let's try an ice cream golem. Why not? Haven't had a chance to showcase it. 120%. Guess that's pretty good. Wow. Okay, so you can attempt to daze or reduce increased damage. We'll stick with the increased damage. Don't need the daze attack. 134. Man. Ice Cream Golem hits hard as well. I believe it's plus 5% extra damage in this form. So that's pretty nice. Uh, nope, still not at the end yet. Bruised Lee. Okay. Let's switch to Kataba instead. He does more damage. Oh, and those of you guys who do not know, his moves here, they are, I believe it's almost the same moves as the one in Mech Quest, uh, when you're using the Bruce Lee Mech in Mech Quest. So, it's been a long time since I last played Mech Quest, but it's also been a really long time since they last had an update for Mech Quest. So, yeah, just a little, uh, Easter egg for those of you guys who don't know. Now you attempt to daze your foes, okay. Ooh, okay. Wait, 16.6%. That's pretty useless. Just damage him, please. Thanks. Okay, it worked somehow, 16.6%. Guess we got lucky there against a low level monster, so that was completely pointless, but okay. Let's rest, let's get dexterity. Um, <sighs> saving up SP, right, saving up SP. Forgot all about that. Oh boy, so that means you restart the entire quest. Uh, Get out of here. Man. That was not what I had in mind. That's not what I had in mind. 
forgot about the roll. Oh, I didn't believe my luck would be so bad. Today is not a really good day, guys. I encountered lots of Gologals. Encountered a failed roll on a stat which I maxed out. Unbelievable, and I didn't have enough SP for it. Jeez, it's a bad day, guys. 75. I just I just needed to roll 25 and more to pass that roll, and I rolled a freaking seven. I didn't even have enough SP for that because I wasn't paying attention. I didn't expect myself to fail the roll, but really, really unlucky today, guys. Ah, well, I guess you guys are stuck with a longer video. Yes, please die, please die, please come on. Okay, thank you. Jeez. Oh, I have to go through everything again. So annoying. Energy weapons. Alright, this should do quite a fair bit of damage. 55 burn. That's nice. 3.57. 5.3. Yep, 94. Wow, burn is doubling in power each time. 7.94. Oh, this is the one he does a lot of damage if you don't hit him. Yep, nice. He should die now. 239. Yep, nice. Gorgonzilla. Another energy one, I guess. Yep. Resisted that. Okay, didn't resist the one from my pet. 52, wow. Night tree doing really well there. 8.89. Okay, nice. There we are, you are done. Pick me, zombie. Uh, I guess you can stick with energy as well. Okay. Okay, we are getting a lot of lucky strikes with this weapon. For some reason. Not complaining, that's good. Yeah, he should be done. Yeah, whatever. I can't feel this, yeah. I don't know what was it with the first roll. That was ridiculous. Jade Sharp Protector. Right, let's go. Light. Weapons. Light Longbow. Items. Bowmaster Emblem. Pets. Balloony Fighter. Luna. No, Soul Star Kashiro. Ooh, that is nice damage right there. Should be finished off right now. Nice. Level 9. Alright, the last one. Level 10. Quest to become the level 10 ninja. Bruce Lee. See what you got. Okay. Oh, we should probably use the Neko Bow against monsters like these. Neko Bow does more damage because it's a higher level, I believe. Yep. <clears throat> special is also way more powerful compared to the Fire and Light Long Bows, which have no special. <coughs> Man, I love those lucky strikes. You should die now. Oh, no more lucky strikes. Okay, but you should still die. Yep. There we go. The rock. 
Oh, this monster, right. Let's get started. Okay, we won't use Cotton Breath, we'll just stick with the regular attack. Ooh, nice. Just wanna burst this guy down as quickly as we can. Nice SP defense fell. Yep, this will hurt. Oh boy, that did a that did a crazy amount of damage. Nice, let's rest. Let's go for the next one. Karatika. Yes. Man, I love that special on the Neko Bow. Alright, more damage. Always love that. Okay, special not needed, but okay. Vatai Blade Master. Energy. Okay, let's use our Thunderlord Spear, Pets, Thunderlord's Ravens. Two point two six. Okay. Oh, okay. He got double turns on that. That's fine. He should die from the burn. Yep, he's gone. Nice, over 300 burn damage. 80 dexterity. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me, guys. Instant failure. One. Holy shit. <laughs> what can I say to me? Oh god, today is such an unlucky day, why? It's the freaking third day of Chinese New Year, why am I so unlucky? What? Yeah, you can tell from this video, this is ridiculous. And the lighting is, is getting kind of dark right now, it's about 6.51pm. Turn on the lights, oh wait. Can't turn it off from here, never mind, we'll just finish the video before I turn on the lights. Come on, please finish this quickly. Fire, fire, weapons, fire, fire, longbow, uh, pets, undead fire giant. No, not that. Come on. <clears throat> I need to turn on the switch for my room lights before I can turn on the lights using the remote. Never mind. I just finish this video pretty hard. It'll only take me three more minutes. This is a ridiculously long video, guys. I do apologize for that. Because of the super unluckiness that is today, I don't know why it's the third day of Chinese New Year. Guess my luck is really bad. It's disgusting, man. Come on, die, die, die. Yes. Yes, thank you. Finally. Night Terror. Okay, light. Weapons, light longbow, pets, balloony fighter, let's go, start, items, bow master emblem, oh nice, got them lucky strikes in, today is a bad day, it's a really bad day, Can tell I'm getting impatient, I'm getting really impatient. <laughs> I don't want to make this video super long because I know nobody likes to watch super long videos. But, <laughs> you know, I want to be as genuine as, as possible and to showcase all of the, as much as I like to showcase success which people do on YouTube, I want to showcase the failures as well, which is uh, really the part and parcel of playing a game. So you can't win all the time and sometimes you just get unlucky like that with RNG so yeah guys it's all part of the game so 
whatever you see on YouTube, all the successes behind every success is probably a hundred other failures which you did not get to see. So, just want to let you guys know that as much as I like to showcase success, I like to showcase failures as well. So you guys know what to expect when playing the game. Because you are not going to win all of the time. At least not first try inside the game. So yeah. Please. Oh, a two! Can you believe that? Wait. Oh. Holy shit. This is an old quest you can't even use. You can't even use... <laughs> <laughs> it's an old quest, you can't even use SP. Oh god, that's why. You can't even use SP. Holy crap, you can't even use SP to boost. Oh my god. One and then a two. Guys, are you seeing this? This is not edited. This is not edited. Oh, the staff doesn't want me to end this video. Help me. Help me. I swear I have no idea what is going on today. What? A 1 and a 2, please. If you give me a 3, I'm going to kill myself. I'm so freaking done with this. I'm so freaking done with this video. I swear, guys. What the heck was that? Row of one, then a row of two. Can you tell why I'm triggered all the time, guys? Why I love to complain so much all the time, guys? Sometimes it's not just that I'm a bad player. I know many of you guys, for some reason, you think I'm a bad player. No, I am not. It's just these sort of unlucky things always happen to me. I don't know why. Sometimes I get lucky, sometimes... What is this luck? One then a two? What are the what are the odds? What are the odds? Tell me guys, what are the odds? Ah, not very good at math. What are the odds of get rolling a one and then rolling a two right after that? That's some crazy odds guys. I swear god if I roll a three I'm going to rage quit and I'm going to cut off the video so if the video gets cut off halfway during the roll, I can get a three, you guys know what happened right there. Holy shit. Man, I am pissed. What is this monster? 50% really? Screw off, will you? Please die. Thank you. Oh my god. Please don't give me. Please pass. Wait, how is there a failure? How is there a failure? That's 80. Wait, must I get... I'm done. I'm done. Bye, guys.